Well, the family of Heyman Lee is now left searching for answers. They are critical of the legal process. Fox 25's Mackenzie Frost has those thoughts from the family's attorney and members of the Saeed family. I spoke with Adnan Sayed's mother and brother, and they both say that due to advice of their attorneys, they're not speaking publicly because this case really remains in legal limbo. But his brother tells me that the news of what happened still has really not yet set in. But for the family of Heyman Lee, their attorney tells me that they still feel betrayed from what happened in court and are still in shock. In a sea of people, a wave of emotion. Sayed walking out of the courthouse in downtown Baltimore after more than 20 years in a jail cell. <laughs> Marilyn Mosby interrupted by the eruption of applause. They let him walk down the steps of the courthouse to a cheering crowd like he's some type of celebrity. They did that on purpose. Sean Kennedy with the Maryland Public Policy Institute says Mosby's timing raises questions and casts more doubt on the motive behind setting free a man who had his convictions affirmed time and time again by different courts. Marilyn Mosby resurrecting this case, this zombie of a case, in order to score political points is just disgusting. And what she's doing and putting the Lee family through is outrageous. We should never underestimate the complete disregard that Marilyn Mosby has for victims of crime in the city of Baltimore if it suits her agenda. The Lee family isn't speaking, but their attorney, Stephen Kelly, is, and he says the family is in shock. The clients honestly are so distraught. Tuesday of last week was the first inkling that um, the family got that the state's attorney's office had taken a sudden turn. Last Tuesday was also the day before Marilyn Mosby was back in federal court for her own trial. And on Friday, Kelly says the Lee family found out about Monday's hearing. We worked as fast as we could and put together a motion asking the court to just delay this hearing by seven days in order to give the um, victim an opportunity to come to Maryland to um, to be present in the courtroom. But that motion was denied and Heyman Lee's brother, Young Lee, was asked to join the hearing by phone. Do you think that Judge Finn violated the Maryland's Victims Rights Act by doing what she did yesterday? Yes, he had that right and that right was taken away from him. After Syed walking out of the courthouse Monday, the Lee family is left wondering who killed Hay. And they are, quite frankly, very hopeless about whether anybody's ever going to be brought to justice. The family is, is open-minded, and if, if there's real evidence that he didn't do this and if someone else did, they want to hear that. They didn't hear that. They weren't told about anything. They weren't told anything remotely resembling that. And wondering why the hearing was held so fast, given the investigation from the state, is not yet complete. The attorney for the Lee family, Stephen Kelly, says that Heyman Lee's brother would have been in Baltimore for this hearing had he been given more notice to show up. In Baltimore, Mackenzie Frost, Fox 45 News.